What's up weirdos, it has been too long since I've buttoned. Bam. There are singles out there getting rejected to their face with confrontation and juicy juicy moments and I haven't been watching it. But that ends it because we're gonna get back into it and it's gonna be juicier than the peach that Timothy Chalamet cut and call me by your name when he was using a peach. Anyways, uh, uh. Welcome to the button, the speed dating show. When the button lights up red, either player may press it and swap out their date for a new person. Get out of here. We're speeding through that because everybody knows how it works, but if you don't know how it works, it lights up red and you have to reject them to their face. Bam! And it leads to the most uncomfortable and perfect confrontational moments, and I love it. Who's this first couple in? Will they find true love? Uh, they never do. What's your favorite thing about yourself and one thing that you want to improve about yourself? I love my personality and I want to be more disciplined. Aww. What That's about you? Favorite thing? I feel like I'm a pretty open-minded person. I like trying new things, a little, like being adventurous and one- Hey, why is he not even looking her in the eyes? I can already tell there's no chemistry, but when I look at him, I feel like he is my cousin. He is what I would look like after trying to push a truck out of the mud and it's tires spin and then fling mud on my face. Like the only difference between him and me is those moles and freckles he's got. And I gotta be honest, I'm a little bit jealous. But he's not looking her in the eye. His name's Christian, by the way, her name's Shawnice. And Christian doesn't want to seem to look Shawnice in the eyes. And she said she loves what about herself? Her personality? Yeah, and she wants to improve her discipline. I love my personality and I want to be more disciplined. And he is just not looking at her. I think there's no way this button isn't hit immediately. What's your body count, both of you? Oh. A lady never tells that. I'll say six. Was that all this year? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, no. Oh, oh, Christian. Oh my God, I know there was no chemistry, but what the? <sighs> Bam, you suck. <sighs> Bam, I'm unattracted to you. I never want to be with you, and I think you suck. Yes. This is an insane move to pull out to somebody's face. It's crazy enough to just like slam a red button saying you don't love somebody, but to gloat in their face? Oh my God, that's why I love this shit. I can't cuss yet, I don't Fuck it, that's why I love this shit. Cause there was no chemistry at all. She had no charisma. He was not feeding into her energy at all. She came out saying, a body count, well, uh, a lady never tells. A lady never tells that. And he said, six, I'm gonna say six. And she said, is that just this year, you man whore? Like, oh my God, the energy was not being reciprocated, Shanice. But I mean, you know, it was just never gonna work out. We know that it was never gonna work out. You just hate to see a befreckled white boy bust out one of these. Especially when they're wearing a San Francisco 49ers hat and they are 0-2 against the Kansas City Chiefs in the Super Bowl. What now? What? What? Sorry, I actually really like 49ers fans. It's just we're 2-0 oh against you. Sorry. You did first? I did. I believe All so. Right. Oh, I really hope he gets rejected. This guy kind of sucks hard. I just don't like his energy at all. The way he's treating this, uh, uh, this little face, whoa, kind of intense. Bam. Yeah, it's intense, but you're kind of the one who made it intense when you slammed it and then gloated in her face. Anyway, somebody needs to come in and wreck this man's life like Patrick Mahomes. What's your biggest red flag and your biggest green flag? My biggest red flag is I'm a perfectionist, but when it comes to me, not to other people. Okay. My biggest green flag is I have a big heart, so sometimes I don't see other people's red flags. Girl, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm sorry, I, what are we talking about here? How is it 2024 and you don't know that that's the worst answer you could give to that? My red flag, God, I'm too perfect. Just about myself though. Anybody else, I accept you completely. You're wonderful and beautiful people. But me, myself, I just need to be perfect. How do you not know that that is the corny thing to say? Like when you go into a job interview, is anybody seriously walking in there going, well, my biggest weakness is probably I'm too much of a team player. I can't get enough. Nobody's doing that. Are they? She is. Are you? Guys, in a gender neutral way, because I know most of y'all aren't boys, but anyways, if you are a boy, go crazy in the comments below. Hey, if you're a boy who likes girls, give yourself a round of applause. There's nobody doing it like <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know what I'm talking about. My biggest green flag is I have a big heart, so sometimes I don't see other people's red flags. That's insane. Also, having that as your, like, your green flag. My red flag, Lord knows, it's just that I'm too good. My green flag, God, it's just that I'm too good. You know what? Obsessed with it, though. Be yourself. Truly believe that you have no flaws. Let's keep it up. She has a really important deal breaker. Okay. I'm someone who does not have a personal relationship with God. Do you have a personal relationship with God? I grew up very in a very religious household. It was it was pretty stressed. Yeah. Um, and I've kind of ventured away from that a little bit. Oh, that answer is a hell no. person to reject Christ more than that is Peter. What? What? The Mr. Three Time? What the fuck am I talking about? Anyways, so reject him. Reject him. Break his heart. Break this heathen's heart. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I think that her, honestly, having this as her deal breaker kind of sheds a new light on her red and green flags. My red flag, I'm perfect. My green flag, I'm perfect. My deal breaker, um, you gotta be perfect like the one and only Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And I'm sorry, but when I look into Christian's eyes here, I do not see a Christian. I see a man who's had intercourse six times out of wedlock. Lord knows you better run for them hills, girl. What's your body count? I'll say eight and six. By the book, Baptist, but I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel like you were about to press it and I- No, I, I was actually gonna ask you if you like anime, actually. Oh, um, I don't. 
And, ugh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Good lord! Oh, I don't like how much he looks like me. But also, she said she wasn't gonna hit the button. She literally was reaching to hit the button, and he barely got it before her. Like, look at the replay on this. Buy the book, not this but I'm sorry. Now, you could say that she was reaching for it after she saw that he was reaching for it. But in my opinion, I think that she was just lying. Which means she's going to hell. <laughs> look at you. Yeah. Your little football hat. <laughs> yeah, a little football hat, yeah. Okay. Just so got back from San Francisco not too long ago, so. That's not gonna work for me. No San Francisco. Oh! Oh my god, nobody needs therapy. They just need to watch the first two minutes of this video. Holy moly. How great is our God? God is so real for this. <laughs> that part made me a believer. Oh my god, she literally just said something about his football hat. He was like, yeah, I just got back from San Francisco. Bam. This woman is so great. She's so powerful. She doesn't want to hear him breathe. She just wants to send him packing. And for what? Just because he's a San Francisco 49ers fan? Let's go, girl. Pound it, girl. Uh... No San Francisco. Go. No. Are you a Falcons fan? No, I'm not a football fan at all. Oh. That's what it, that's wall it was. I'm not a football fan. So because he watches football, you can never see a future with him? Oh my God. I need to know everything about this woman. The fact that you can reject somebody off of just that in the button. That's what makes this show so GD good. Come on! Jay, you shared something, an embarrassing fact. Shay cries when she poops. Wait, wait wh what? <laughs> <laughs> wait, did I say the same thing he said? Wait, wh what? <laughs> wait, 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 no, 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 no. She cries when she poops? How does the button know? When you go onto a show like this, you do a pre-interview where you have like little fun facts about yourself that they can potentially bring up, but you're not like sworn to the truth. And also you don't have to tell them this. You know what I mean? The only reason you would tell them this is if you're like, oh, this would be a funny thing for them to bring up. Them in the pre-interview. So Shay, just share anything with us. Is there anything that's fun about you? Any like embarrassing facts that might be funny to bring up? Shay, uh, well, there is one embarrassing fact and because you are the button and there's literally no higher calling than telling the truth to you, right now, I do weep and sob uncontrollably while while I pooey. Okay, I guess we'll write that down. You didn't, okay. Come on! I feel like I'm not like reacting to this enough. I need to see her say this again because what? Is there a reason? I mean, it's not a spiritual right? moment. I, okay. I've been doing it since like yeah. forever. Like it's a good relief. Like you feel good. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's more just like it's involuntary. It just happens. <laughs> Why are you talking about this? You don't have to tell anybody this. This could stick between you and God. What are you saying right now, Shay? <laughs> like, there's no actual point where it's like, oh, this is why I told them, because it's actually a funny thing. No, she's just like, it's a really deeply uncomfortable and unsettling part about me that I feel very uncomfortable sharing, but I'm going to be vulnerable right now and tell you, yes, when I do go pooey, I cry and sob. I don't know why, but it just happens. I mean, I guess round of applause for honesty? I, 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 I. But how is this a fact though that you share when you're trying to speed date? All this guy knows about her right now is that she cries when she poops and that's it. <laughs> oh man, what if he's into it though? Ew. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's, that's, that's good. Thank you so much. Why didn't you try to beat him to it, Shay? No, that, I explain the poop and cry. You didn't know how to explain the poop and cry? What in the fuck? If you tell them that you poop and cry, you know they're gonna bring it up. Oh my god, she fell for the secret Hollywood trap of thinking you need to tell the truth. God, you didn't need to tell anybody that. We know nothing about her, by the way. That's it. That's all. That's she came in, rejected a man because he likes football, and then revealed that she poops when she cries. I mean, she cries when she poops. I, which is worse? Who cares? Keep going. Actually, no. Which is worse? Definitely crying when you poop. Or, I mean, what if you're watching La La Land and then you shit your pants? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. Pooping and crying do not go well together. Sorry. I don't know. <laughs> I love that sound. Is he 60 years old? Hi. Oh, wait, what's up? Nice to meet you. Hi, Ellie. A handshake? Yeah. How do I use your handshake? I you go handshake? for a hug or something? No, I drop up. Okay. <laughs> Okay, that's- I'm sorry, I haven't even seen her face. This is the most uncomfortable interaction I've ever seen in my entire life. Really hope that somebody rejects somebody right now. Bam! We just witnessed a woman in a baby blue tutu and fur-lined boots displaying the perfect example of social anxiety. I don't usually handshake, I just- uh, normally I dap up. Please, I'm begging you to just sit down and start talking. But maybe he liked her, I would call it misbegotten Riz. What's your name again? Ari. Ari? Ari can call me vampire girlfriend. Ariana's type is a guys who look like they're one cigarette away from dying. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I kind of like that. I like someone who looks like they're dying. That way I can fix them. Okay, I know exactly who this type of woman is. Oh my god, bro, please button her and run for your life. Bam. She's gonna say some shit about Ted Kaczynski in three seconds. You can call me vampire girlfriend. I just met you and you had an awkward conversation about dapping up. I'm not gonna call you vampire girlfriend while you're wearing a baby blue maid dress right now. What are you? I don't even know you. You're not vampire girlfriend. Boys who look like they are one cigarette away from dying. Okay. She's talking about 2020 Muadib. Like when you describe your type as a boy who is one cigarette away from dying, I just, I, I listen. It just sounds like you're saying you want a boy with an eating disorder, which is fine. <laughs> no, it's not fine. Please hit the button on her, please. I just have a lot of questions. <laughs> I feel like you're cool though. No, you're he doesn't look like he's dying though. No, I need, what? What? I need someone I can fix. Oh my God. We just missed out on a generational contender on the button. Oh my God, we got nothing from him. He sat down, was told that a woman cries when she poops and had a pretty good reaction for all, all things considered. Then he has to contend with vampire girlfriend here and gets rejected by her because he seems like he has his life too together. I'm sorry, but this Emmanuel Acho variant deserves better. Come on. Sorry, I'm not the one. <laughs> Sorry you're not, but that's a good thing for you. That's not charming to talk like that. I'm sorry. Oh my God, this uh, shit. Uh. Vampire girlfriend is really frustrating me. It's not charming or funny to be chasing after people who you think are mentally broken. You're on a self-destructive cycle that is not cute, okay? You are romanticizing your own self-destructive cycle. Vampire girlfriend, I don't think that's good. And you should have given bro a chance. Bro was kind. Bro dapped you up afterwards because he had one frame of reference for what you like and he did it for you. God, he deserves better. I'm just joking around. I love this show so much because it's so juicy. Oh, the juice in the bro. <laughs> Hi, what's your name? Aaron. Aaron, I'm Ari. Nice, nice to meet you. Ari. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I know, I don't like the, you don't the like handshakes? handshakes because it's too much contact. Aaron, that was tough. I mean, especially after we saw a man just absolutely coast through that awkward situation, that was tough to see. If I'm looking at bro, honestly, I'm sorry, he does not look like he's one cigarette away from dying. He looks like he lives a very fulfilled life. Trust me, Aaron has a lot of shit going on. Trust me, Aaron has motion. All we can really hope for is that Aaron rejects vampire girlfriend before vampire girlfriend rejects Aaron, am I right? Bam! I'm not much of a contact person. Okay. <laughs> Fun fact about him, he hasn't had that much sex. Why, well, you just gonna bust me out like that? <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> what? By the way, fun fact about Aaron, bro does not get a play. <laughs> Poor guy, bro came in, whiffed on a dap up, and then got called a virgin in front of everybody. She says, yeah, I don't like that much contact. And the button was like, actually, fun fact about Aaron, he hasn't had any. <laughs> no, come on, come on, not too much on my boy Aaron, not too much on him. I feel like I'm a little experienced, but it's not like I see someone, like, I'm gonna fuck him, like, I'm gonna have sex with him, or whatever. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. He said, I have been far too embarrassed to let this continue. Let me reject you. And the thing is, he could see where it was going. That was not gonna, that was not gonna go well. And you know what? Honestly, kind of wish Vampire Girlfriend stayed in because she's such an interesting and wacky person. But at the end of the day, what is the button about if not true love? So let's see if we can get Aaron some true love because trust me, he might be a virgin, but he's got some stuff going on. Trust me, Aaron has things that you don't even know about in the works. Come on! I just wasn't feeling the vibes. <laughs> I can hear her stomping up the stairs. She's pissed. Yeah, I, the red flag button, red flag. <laughs> Was he gonna make out with the button in a second? I thought they were gonna cut and be tongue deep in that. <laughs> That's inappropriate. God, actually, you know what? I take it back. I am glad that she got rejected because that is so annoying to just be like, oh, whatever. Oh, you weren't feeling the vibes. Whatever, okay. Okay, I'm annoying and I'm immature. Let me prove you wrong by stomping up the stairs and going, ah. Oh. Aaron? I am begging you to make this next woman your wife. All right, so what do you do for work? I work in film. Shantae has a toxic trait that she shared with us. It's that she thinks she knows everything. Ooh, that's like everything? Let's be for real. Ooh! Ooh! Gaib. I love Aaron. What you know about this big ass red butt? He works in film, although a shocking majority of the people I've met who work in film are actually really insufferable. But actually, those are people who go to film school and don't actually work in film. But maybe he's chill. So far, his standards, though, seem pretty good. He's looking for somebody who is like a nice person. Doesn't want a scary, not in a charming way, an immature vampire girlfriend. And he doesn't want to know it all. In my opinion, feels like good standards, but that's me. So that's me. She admitted it was a toxic trait. Yeah, I just 
don't think she's my type. Exactly. Hey, she admitted it was a toxic trait, but guess what? Self-awareness about a flaw doesn't make the flaw non-existent. Toxic trait about me, I, uh, I drink and I drive. What can I say? I can't stop having 56 cold Coors Lights and getting behind the wheel of my big rig truck. But it's my toxic trait, girl. What can I say? Yeah, you're still drunk driving. Nah, just kidding. If I see a dude 56 cold Coors Lights deep, I'm throwing him his keys and seeing what happens. <laughs> oh no, let's keep going. Come on! What are your green flags in a person? My green flags in a person? Yeah, Someone who can for? hold a conversation? Okay, valid. Consistency? No, yes. You gotta be funny. Like, okay. I love funny people. <laughs> Tell her a joke. Oh yeah. A joke on the spot? This is the worst thing that the button does. I'm so sorry. This stressed me. I'm already like, I'm sweating. Because the thing is, I like Aaron. I think Aaron has good vibes. I think he seems really nice. But when somebody says that they're a comedian or anything, and then the button says, well, if you're so funny, pray tell, tell them a joke. It's always so uncomfortable. But they seem like they have chemistry. They seem like they like each other. Listen, they both have glasses. So they're nerds. <laughs> no, please, 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 Aaron, please. Please be funny. I'm not that kind of funny. I'm like oh. a, observational funny, oh. like situational funny. I can't do on the spot jokes either. So like, it's that's okay. a lot of pressure. Yeah, the button is putting us on the spot. He's got a new rule for this day. You ready? Oh. You two are not going to say anything to each other. Oh, okay. Listen, this is how it works. This is exactly how it works. If you want to fall in love with somebody, sit in silence and stare into their eyes for 90 seconds. If they ever hit the button on each other, all I'm going to say is this. I'm going to burn down the White House. <laughs> Sorry, I can't say that. Oh my god, by the way, these necklaces, uh, weirdothings.com. I also just got the designs back for my next collection. They're so fucking fire, and I'm working on getting those out early in the summertime. It's so cool. These ones are really cool. But these ones, listen, they're all real pearls. Do you understand that? It's like real shit. 925 sterling silver clasp and chain. And it's got this extender chain here, so you can make it looser if you need to for your neck size. Really seriously, like go uh go to weirdothings.com. That's for Sophia. But also, I'm gonna get a tattoo here in like a month. So, oh wait, I got an idea. Transition! <laughs> Okay, what the fuck am I doing right now? I'm so sorry. Let's keep watching. Come on! Okay, sit in silence. <laughs> Listen, they like each other. They're flirting. They're both realizing this is an awkward situation, so they're making the most of it. They both have glasses, so they are nerds, and it's gonna work out. Can we skip the silence though, button? I'm getting uncomfortable. All right, and it's done. You're a great whisperer. I'm not. It's a learned art. <laughs> yeah, opposites attract, you know? You know? How are you feeling? Is this real? Is it real? I think so. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. That's true love right there. Thank God. I'm so glad we moved past the situations we went through in this entire video. San Francisco 49ers fan, cry pooper, vampire girlfriend, and then we end on true love. That's what it's all about, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Congratulations. You two have won the button. That's what I'm talking about. It's what makes this show so good. Yes, we go through the social awkwardness. Yes, we go through the rejections face to face. Yes, we go through awkward, very immature, weird people. But in the end, we will always have two people with glasses falling in love because they're both nerds. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Hey, I love making another video about the button. Please subscribe. I love you. <laughs> Day man. Oh, fighter of the night man. Oh, he's the champion of the sun. He is the master of karate and friendship for everyone. Dayman, ah! fighter of the night man. Ah! He's the champion of the sun. Ah! He's the master of karate and friendship for everyone.